Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, my friends, welcome, all friends of the art of Japanese prints. My name um, is Dieter Van Schura, just Dieter, and I'm the manager and owner of the Ortolino Company. And we, the Ortolino Company, we were established in the year 2001, and since then we have weekly online auctions for Japanese prints. And uh, we produce all the, also these YouTube videos, and they are always about Japanese prints, and we try to put some educational stuff into these videos. Well, today I want to present and discuss a print by one of my favorite artists, Hazui Kawase, one of the great artists of the so-called Japanese Shinhanga art movement. He was active mainly in the first half of the 20th century. And it's this wonderful print. The title is uh, Kanita in Aomori Prefecture. It's one of the roughly 600 print designs by Hazui Kawase that he made during his lifetime. And, well, this print has well, there are basically three interesting factors, aspects, why I present it. First of all, it's really rare. It's actually the first time since 2001 that we have this design. Well, that's really something special. Well, secondly, you see that rainbow. The Hazuko was out of his 600 designs I remember only three or four designs with rainbows. So also this is quite rare. And overall, it's a wonderful print. It's beautiful, isn't it? And third, Shinhanga art prints. Well, these are prints from the first half of the 20th century. They normally have just Japanese characters. They have no signature by the artist as modern prints signed by and, and title, but this print has the name of Hazui Kawase and it looks like his signature in Western characters and also the title. Afterwards, we will show you that and I will explain it what is so special about the signature because it's something very tricky, but like in all good soap operas, I will tell you that not now but at the end of the story. So don't go away. But uh, also now a few words uh, about the artist. If you're not familiar with Japanese prints, well, if you are, um, now you're a little bit bored. Who was Hazui Kawase? He was born in 1883 and he died in 1957. And he was so important, one year before his death, the. Japanese government declared him a living national treasure. Uh, that's the highest award you can get as an artist in, in Japan. And art critics and fans of Japanese art prints uh, most regard him as the most important Japanese artist for landscape designs of the first half of the 20th century. My friends of Japanese prints. Well, this wonderful print showing an old Japanese village. Um, it is from a series made by Hazui. The title of the series in Japanese, and now I have to look into my script, Nihon Fuke Shu Higashi Nihon Hen. My goodness, ne never try to learn Japanese, by the way. Yeah. Okay, in plain English, the title of the series is something like Collection of Scenic Views of Japan, Eastern Japan Edition. And the title is Aomori Ken Kanita. Kanita is the name of the village. Aomori is an old name for uh, a prefecture in Japan. Ken, that's the Japanese word for prefecture. And by the way, this design was listed as Rainbow at Kanita with the title Rainbow at Kanita in a Watanabe catalog from 1936. And it was first published in 1933. 
And now let me um, explain a little bit to you, show the different writings here and um, explain them a little bit. Okay, we have here on the left margin, we have the copyright seal of the Watanabe Shotsaburo print shop that was used between 1920 nine and 1942 here on on the left margin and there on top that is the title um, Aomori Prefecture Ken and Kanita name of this beautiful village and down here this is the date of the first publish publishing um, the date is always after the Japanese calendar it says Showa 8th and March so that is um, first public publication date, March of 1933. My dear friends of Japanese prints, at the beginning of this video I had promised you that I will tell you everything what's behind this um, apparently handwritten um, pencil written uh, signature Hazui Kawase and here the the title Kanita. Okay now it comes but we have to go a little bit back into history. Sorry my friends. Um, the Watanabe print shop that published this wonderful design and worked very closely with Hazui Kawase together that was mainly an export business. At that time, Japanese people were hardly any more interested in their own art prints. Um, nearly everything that Watanabe produced went mainly to the United States of America, a little bit also to Europe, but it was nearly exclu exclusively an export business. And that went well through the 1920s and until so roughly the middle of the 1930s and towards the end of the 1930s it dropped dead, nearly dead. And why? Well the image of Japan had deteriorated in the world terribly um, starting at the end of the 1930s Japan attacked China, there were terrible uh, atrocities by Japanese soldiers in China, there was an outcry in the world and well then um, started the Great Pacific War, World War II, Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor and of course during this time practically nobody in the US bought anymore anything from Japan. So Watanabe Shotsaburo's print shop came to a standstill. They still produced, but these piled them piled up. They were not sold. Um, in August of 1945, Japan surrendered and then um, it was occupied by a large number of US soldiers, the so-called uh, US occupation forces and these US occupation forces they had their own stores they were called PX stores even I can still remember that as a child while I'm German and we also had the US occupation forces and I remember these PX stores and these PX stores also now ordered huge numbers of prints Japanese prints from the Japanese publishers and especially uh, these Shinhanga uh, prints were very popular among the US soldiers. They brought them home for their loved ones um, as a present when they returned to the US. And so Watanabe got a lot of orders um, that went to US soldiers and Japanese people they know how to accommodate foreigners yeah and they thought hey these US guys they cannot read our Japanese characters so um, let's help them a little bit and let's write um, the artist name and the title in western characters and this is what they did and it was not done by Hazui, never by the artist but by an employee of the Watanabe shop. So this is not what you think it is. It is. It is not signed by the artist Hazui Kawase, 
but by an employee of Watanabe. You find such prints not very often. Um, you can find them also for other artists uh, published by Watanabe, Shiro Kazamatsu, for instance. And um, it was practiced so roughly from 1946 until the late 1950s. So what we know from this handwriting plus this copyright seal, we know that it was actually printed somewhere between 1929 and 1942, but it was actually sold was somewhere around, let's say, 1946 until the late 1940s. Well, so much enough for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would be pleased to see you for our next video. And um, if you have some time, take a look at our website, www.artolino.com. Well, take care of yourself and have a Good and nice week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.